Bell Rock is always such a welcome sight for us. It is one of the major iconic rock formations that signifies that you have arrived in Sedona. To do the Bell Rock climb, you can use one of two parking lots that we will cover in a little bit. Both are really large, but they do fill up on the weekends and popular holidays. Even though it is called the Bell Rock Climb, it does not go to the very top of the rock formation. There is another route that does that and we will hopefully be doing that in an upcoming video. That route is way sketchier and we ran out of daylight and were not able to finish it on our last visit. Be sure to be careful on this trail because it is also a very popular mountain bike trail. There are some downhill sections and the bikes come through really fast. Even though the Bell Rock Climb does not take you all the way up to the top, it is definitely no slouch. It takes you up to a beautiful overlook with great views of Sedona. The footage that you're seeing here is from the longer of the two approaches. It is 1.3 miles from the parking lot to the beginning of the real climb. It is a pretty hike with nice views, so if you have the extra time or if you're just trying to stretch out the hike a little bit, I'd recommend it. The second route is way shorter though. It's less than a quarter of a mile from the parking lot to the beginning of the climb from here. It doesn't really matter which way you go because they both end up in the same place. When you first start the climb, you're going to be able to follow these huge rock baskets, but just know that they're going to go away. To finish this hike, it's going to take a lot of route finding skills and knowing your personal limits because there are some super steep and sketchy parts. I know that I say it in a lot of our videos, but shoes with good traction are absolutely critical for hikes like these. You can expect to gain right around 400 feet of elevation on just this climb section, and it all happens in a very short distance. For a good part of the climb, it's not a super defined trail. It's a little bit more of a choose your own adventure type of situation. If you look around hard enough, sometimes you'll find some rocks stacked up or an easier route that'll help you get up to the next level. Be sure to turn around and look behind you as you are climbing your way up. Since you're gaining elevation so fast, you're getting a really good view almost immediately, and it continues to get better on the way up. Around the halfway point of the climb, we ran into another really cool hiker named Sebastian. He was also trying to find his way up to the top. We ended up sticking together and hanging out all the way up to the top of the climb. V and I love meeting and talking with like-minded adventurers. It definitely adds to the fun and we've been lucky enough to meet some super cool people. At this point in the climb, the rock stacks have long since disappeared and you are completely on your own. If you're lucky, you might see someone that's on their way down and you can either ask them or copy their route. But there were definitely a couple points where we were a little bit confused on where to go. Luckily for us, Sebastian is a much faster hiker than we are and he trudged on ahead and found the trick to get up to the last section of the hike. Once you reach the top to where most people can't climb up any higher, you can make a right to go up and take in this beautiful view. Or you can take the left to climb up to the spire which is what most people consider the end of this hike. I keep saying most because while we were on top of the spire and enjoying the view, this guy that was absolutely locked into beast mode came up and climbed an almost vertical wall that I assume took him all the way up to the very top of Bell Rock. It was super impressive and way above our skill level. One thing's for sure though, as much as I would love to see the view from the very top of Bell Rock, the view that we got from the top of the spire was still epic. It was super pretty getting to see the valley bathed in the golden sunset light. The only challenge was that this video was shot in January, and as soon as the sun drops below the horizon, the temperature drops dramatically. Our new friend Sebastian took off from the top about 20 minutes before we did, and that was probably a really good decision. By the time we got back to the car, it was freezing. As much fun as it would be to watch the entire sunset from up on the spire, you also have to think about all of the wayfinding that you're going to have to do on your way down. I don't think that it would be very easy to find your way down in the dark. Once you reach the rock stacks towards the bottom, you know you are pretty much in the clear and it's gonna be a fairly easy hike from here on out. On this particular occasion, we took the longer trail and we ended up with a grand total of about 3.3 miles. Hopefully we can get back to Sedona soon because I can't wait to make a video of the climb all the way up to the top of Bell Rock. All I can say is that route is a doozy. One cool thing is that there is a loop trail that just goes around Bell Rock without the climb, so if you're not super adventurous, it's still worth stopping by. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official, and for all the information about this hike as well as other awesome things to do in the Sedona area, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.